Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody Welcome back to Kukar Pintar channel I hope you are fine And still motivated to learn English Every time, everywhere Alright everybody I believe you know how to say These numbers in English Right? How about these numbers? We can call these numbers As cardinal numbers and this number as ordinal numbers. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to say these numbers in English and the difference between cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. And today's materials are based on Government Book Revision 2017 and English in Mind Starter from Cambridge University Press. Alright everybody, let's start our lessons today by doing matching game. Here, we will see the cardinal numbers. Try to match the numbers with its words in English. I'll give you some time to do it. Have you finished? Let's check the answer. Listen and repeat. O one two three four five six seven eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, let's check the other cardinal numbers between 20 to 100. Listen and repeat the numbers. 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 Ninety, a hundred. All right, everybody. Now you know how to say some cardinal number in English. Now, how about these numbers? Try to say it in English. How about these numbers? That's right, twenty-six. Once more, twenty-six. How about this? You're right. 29. Once more. 29. How about these numbers? Yes. 35. Once more. 35. What about this? Good. 47. 47 And this? Very good 58 58 Last one? Good job 64 Once more? 64 Very good Now, let's see the ordinal number Again, match the numbers with its words in English. I'll give you some time to do it. Have you finished everybody? Very good. Now, let's check the answer. Listen and repeat. First. Second. 
third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, twelfth, thirteenth, twentieth, thirtieth. Okay, now how you say these numbers in English? Let's check these numbers. How to say it? You're right. 23rd. Once more, 23rd. How about this one? Good job. 25th. Once more, 25th. And how about this? Yes, 29th, 29th, and the last one, very good, 31st, once more, 31st. Alright everybody, now let's see the difference between cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Sekarang kita lihat apa perbedaan dari cardinal numbers dan ordinal numbers. Yang pertama, What is cardinal numbers? Apa sih cardinal numbers itu? Dalam bahasa Indonesia, cardinal numbers bisa diartikan sebagai angka kardinal, di mana cardinal numbers adalah adjective atau kata sifat yang menunjukkan jumlah. Contohnya, one apple, di mana di sana menunjukkan satu itu adalah jumlah dari apel tersebut. Dalam bahasa Indonesia, kita bisa mengartikannya sebagai satu buah apel. Or other example, 10 books. Di mana angka 10 di sana menunjukkan jumlah dari buku. So, 10 books means 10 buah buku. Sedangkan ordinal numbers dalam bahasa Indonesia bisa diartikan sebagai bilangan bertingkat. Di mana menunjukkan tingkatan atau distribusi dari sesuatu. For example, like first son. Anak laki-laki pertama Or second floor Lantai kedua Maka dalam bahasa Indonesia, ordinal number bisa diartikan dengan Ke satu, ke dua, ke tiga, dan seterusnya Alright, sekarang kalian bisa lihatkan perbedaannya di mana dalam sebuah kalimat, jika Nomor atau angka yang digunakan adalah cardinal numbers, maka dia menunjukkan jumlah dari sebuah benda. Sedangkan apabila yang digunakan adalah ordinal numbers, maka dia menunjukkan urutan dari sesuatu. Now, let's see some examples in sentences. I have two apples. Nah, lihat kalimatnya ya. I have two apples. Di mana kata two, angka dua di sana menunjukkan jumlah apel yang dimiliki oleh saya. I have two apples. Saya memiliki dua buah apel. I am the first child in my family. Lihat, kalimatnya di sana terdapat kata first. Di mana dalam bahasa Indonesia bisa berarti ke satu. First child. Anak ke satu, atau bisa juga kita sebut dengan anak pertama. Nah, kata ke satu atau pertama menunjukkan urutan dari anak yang ada dalam keluarga tersebut. I am the first child in my family. Saya adalah anak pertama di keluarga saya. Alright, now let's do the exercise. I have six sentences. Each sentence have two options. You just need to pick one of them to complete the sentence. Let's see number one as an example. The sentence is, I have blah 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 pairs of shoes. The options are two and second. So, what do you think the answer? Yes, the answer is two. 
So the sentence is, I have two pairs of shoes. Now, it's your turn to do the rest. Have you finished? Let's check the answer together. Number two, the answer is, that's right, first. She is the first daughter in the family. How about number three? You're right. The food court is on the third floor. And number four? You're right. There are 10 rooms in my house. And number five? Yes, the children bring 20 sandwiches. And the last number? Very good. This is my 16th time going to the beach. Baiklah anak-anak, hari ini kita sudah mempelajari tentang cardinal numbers dan ordinal numbers. Kalian juga sudah mengetahui bagaimana cara mengucapkan cardinal numbers dan ordinal numbers dalam bahasa Inggris. Please always practice how to say it at your home with your family or friends. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll see you in the next meeting. Please keep healthy, keep safe, and be smart out there. Don't forget to visit, like, and subscribe to Karpintar Channel from Dinas Pendidikan dan Kebudayaan Kabupaten Kutai Kartanegara. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam Kukar Pintar. Do your best, get the best.